The Wrangler Champions Challenge presented by Justin Boots on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Wrangler. Long live Cowboys. By WeatherGuard, the official truck box of the PRCA. By Justin Boots, the official boots of the PRCA. Authentic handcrafted cowboy boots since 1879. JustinBoots.com. And by Kubota Tractor Corporation, where passion meets performance. Kubota helps you achieve more. Love the building here in Grand Island, Nebraska. Absolutely perfect for pro rodeo. The crowd's had a lot of fun. We've seen a lot of great rides, a lot of fast runs. And earlier in the bull riding, we had Lon Danley. He had high maintenance. He came down quick. Yeah, a little fake there to the left and a hop and a skip and around to the right. He couldn't muster it. Scotty Knapp had X51, almost gets there. Scotty Knapp is riding really well. He bared down, tried to get his hips back over there. That bull was extremely ranked. Dallin Duncan, Team Boot Barney's ranked 15th in the world standings. He makes the whistle on ace high. You know, and it wasn't easy. Ace high kind of moving forward all the time, kind of under, under himself. Dallin does a good job. Not the biggest score, but a good ride. Shane Proctor on Hill. Billy, 79 points. And Proctor's one of those guys that age doesn't bother him. He just stays in great shape. Well, I mentioned he won the average at the Wrangler National Finals. He won $192,000 down there that week. Good ride right here, just not enough bull. Here's a look at our leaderboard right now. Trey Benton, the third, the first cowboy out. He's got the lead at 85 and a half points. Dustin Bowen gets set to go, riding for Team Experience Kissimmee. He's got Northern Lights. Well, Northern Lights, you know, five guys have a score on this bull. This bull gets ridden quite a bit. Dustin Bowen slides up there. He needs to be 86 points or better to get Trey Benton off the top. All right, big fake out of there, flattens out, changes up, travels in that spin. He's got a good seat, keeps pumping over there. Another qualified ride. Boy, these guys have really came to Grand Island and ready to ride. This is good to see in the bull ride. Got a little bit of ways from that bull rope right there, but makes the whistle 80 and a half points for him. They pay the top five, and that's going to keep him in the money at the moment. Another look at it. We're going to see the bullfighters move in there and make a big save right here on Dustin Bowen. This bull's real flat. You can see how he changes, hops and skips, flattens out. But at this point, you don't give this bull a lot of points in his score. Yeah, weather guard save of the night. We'll watch these guys at the end of this ride. You know, it, it's three of them, and it's all about the teamwork. Well, you know, he gets kind of away from his hand, gets hanging on. They just step in there. All they need to do is take this bull's attention just momentarily. That's a lot of attention getting right there as you see him. Stepped right in front of him, took the shot. Ah, they are so good. <laughs> yeah, you step in front and grab him by the horns. You have that's that bull's full the, attention. That's full attention. Unfortunately, <laughs> so. Weather guard bullfighters doing a great job. Here comes Sage Kims. He's won the last three world titles. He won about 311,000 total in 2016. And uh, riding here for, for Team Wrangler, we'll see if he can, or Team B&W, let's see if he can get it done. Well, he let a bull buck him off at San Antonio, and I thought right then I would hate to be the next bull he gets on because he was not happy. Talked about some injuries going on. You know, he's kind of suffering some nerve damage in that riding arm. It had not shown up in this ride at all. Great ride. Well, you look back at his last three years, 318,000, the world title in 14, 327,000, the world title in 15, and 311,000 last year. Wow. Yeah, three world titles, $980,000 doing it. That's a million bucks, pretty easy. And he just handles this bull so easy. Sage Kimsey effortlessly, 85 and a half points. He ties now for the lead. So Sage Kimsey now tied along with Trey Benton, 85 and a half is the number. Here comes a guy that's been red hot. He's number three in the world, Cole Melanson, 25th in the world a year ago, but he has stepped it up in 2017 and now sits really close to the top of those world standings. Yeah, number three to be exact. He is really good. I've been really impressed watching him. This is Bull Shane Proctor had at the Wrangler National Finals. He was 83 points on. Melanson, much better trip. This Bull's got some power. Good ride away from his hand. I mean, every time I watch Cole Melanson, I'm not surprised at all why he's number three in the world standings. He is the real deal. Yeah, he cleaned up in Rapid City, got his winner off to a big start, and so 88 points for him. And he is going to win here in Grand Island, Nebraska. Well, you can see this bull, you know, compared to some of the other bulls, Kimsey's and some of those, he's just that much more impressive. He's got a little more electricity to him. In other words, if you're writing down and you've got 25 points to mark him, you're going to give him 21, 22, maybe even 23 of them. And Melanson, he's all there. Yeah, he just keeps making money courtesy of the Wrangler Champions Challenge Series as he notches another win. And that's going to probably help him climb up a little bit more in those world standings. 
Results brought to you by Las Vegas on the road to the Wrangler NFR. Milan's on 88 points. Kimsey and Trey Benton wind up tied for second place. Garrett Smith and Bowen all make money. Let's talk with the winner. Here's Suzanne. We're wrapping up this Champions Challenge here in Grand Island the same way we did in Rapid City with Cole Malenza. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. So we got to talk about Red Image. This bull is a bull that you've ridden before. Uh, yes, ma'am. I got on him in Denver in the short round and uh, ended up winning second there. I was 90 on him there, so I was hoping for another 90, but 88 will do. You know, you, right now, you're obviously sitting great in the standings at number three. This pushes you up a little bit more. How important is it for you right now? You've never been to the Wrangler NFR. Just to pad those standings as you look forward to the rest of the season and gun for your very first NFR appearance. Yeah, I mean, it feels great to be uh, to be up at the top instead of being at the bottom trying to chase everybody coming into the... I mean, we still got quite a few more rodeos until the summer run, but it's it's great to be in, at least in the top 15, heck, even the top three, to hopefully we can hold that all the way and... Go into, the, go into the finals number one instead of, that's what we're shooting for. Wrangler Champions Challenge team standings and Team Coors is in control. 27,000 plus for them. Justin Boots right behind them. You have three teams that have already won more than $22,000. Everybody else playing catch up, including our reigning champions. Our next telecast here on the CBS Sports Network, the Ram National Circuit Finals. You can see that April 23rd at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. For more information, go to ProRodeo.com. Our first trip to Grand Island, Nebraska. What a great Wrangler Champions Challenge presented by Justin Boots. The winter rodeos are coming to an end. It's about springtime, and the rodeo season will get more and more serious. For Butch Knowles, Joe Beaver, and Suzanne Alexander, I'm Jeff Metters. Thanks for watching, everybody. So long.